My research is on productivity. Productivity is how well you make use of given inputs in production. It's a measure of effectiveness, it's a measure of efficiency. It's one of the key drivers of economic growth. The more productive an economy, the more prosperous the economy and the citizens living in that economy. Why are we so interested in understanding productivity? Because productivity uh, varies dramatically across countries and even within countries. And so, you know, the question is, why is that? And traditionally, people have looked at hard inputs, let's say capital or labor, technologies, R&D, to try and explain these differences. What it turns out that none of the traditional inputs, the hard inputs, fully account for the differences in productivity that we observe in the data. So the question is, what if it's not the, you know, the, how much capital you have or how much labor you have, but how well do you use these inputs? It's a measure of management in the sense that management is the soft input, the intangible inputs, inputs that allows you to make good use of these uh, traditional uh, inputs. So my research tries to uh, document how this soft and intangible input called management may account for these um, big differences in uh, productivity across firms and ultimately across countries. So, so far we found uh, that management, how well do you keep track of your production, for example? Do you have targets? Do you discuss your targets? Those very basic managerial practices account for more than 30% of the differences in productivity across countries. Uh, more recently I've been focusing on delegation. Delegation is the uh, decentralization of authority from the top of the firm, typically the CEO, down to managers that are below, uh, down below in the hierarchy, typically plant managers. In theory, the people that live uh, in the lower managerial levels of the firm might be able to uh, have better in local information. They might be able to understand demand better, for example. And indeed we find that firms that were more decentralized before the Great Recession were able to cope with the shock much better relative to firms that were more centralized before the Great Recession. And this is a new project where we were, we were able to classify with very detailed information the time use of more than a thousand CEOs across six countries. This data shows that there are very different ways of allocating the time of a CEO. On the, to simplify things to the extreme, we find that there are certain CEOs that are really micromanagers in the sense that they spend a lot of time dealing in one-to-one -one meetings, mostly with production. And then on the other hand, we have CEOs that are more coordinators. So they tend to spend their time coordinating across different functions, perhaps not getting involved directly with production, but, uh, but with many different functions at the same time. We find that the second type of managers, the coordinators, are associated with much higher levels of productivity. In short, we find that management matters, delegation matters, and the way CEOs spend their time also matters. In particular, CEOs that are micromanaging their, their organization at a point in time in which the firm needs to grow or needs more coordination rather than direct involvement, those micromanaging CEOs might be bad for firm productivity.